スです。If you want cheap and reliable free 4D no limiting coins for all platforms, check out MMOJ. Link will be in the description. Also in the description is a video proving they are legit. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you Man of the Match Rodrigo's player review. Now, it does say that I've played one game with him. That is because I went on the Team of the Week challenge to show you the in game stats, so I haven't actually played a game. Anyway, I bought him for 215,000, which you know is kind of a bargain because his lowest buy now currently is 70k more than that. So you know I might make a bit of profit, or I might just not lose tax because I reckon he'll go down to about 200k anyway because he's, there seems to be a lot of these getting packed. But anyway, he got this for scoring two goals for Benfica against AZ Alkmaar in the Europa League to send Benfica into the semi-finals. So yeah, he's one of two man of the matches. Let me know if you do want me to do the other one. Uh, it's a silver card that for Valencia. I'm not sure who it is, but yeah, I can do it if you want. Anyway, high attacking, medium defensive work rate, left foot, four star weak foot, four star skill moves. He's got 86 pace, 79 dribbling, 78 shot, and 75 heading. That really does look outstanding, especially for a 79 player. I think I'm going to enjoy this card, and I'll get into his in-game stats now. Right, so his in-game stats don't look too good, but you know, there's some fairly solid stats. 83 curve, 82 dribbling, 83 finishing, and 81 long shots. He's also got 84 shot power and 80 volleys. Moving on to his physical attributes, very, very good. 86 acceleration, 83 agility, 87 reactions, 88 sprint speed, and 76 strength. That strength I'm really liking for a striker. Nothing special about his mental attributes, 77 attack and positioning, so he might stray out position a bit, and 70 aggression is pretty good, he should fight for the ball a bit more. So yeah, I'll tell you what I did enjoy and what I didn't enjoy about his Man of the Match card in the highlights. Right, so as I predicted with this card, is absolutely fantastic. There's hardly anything this card can't do. His heading, absolutely fantastic. If you can get him inside that box, and you can get a pinpoint he uh, cross into him, Chances are it's going to go in. Same as shots within the box. Finesses, normal shots, chip shots. You get him in the box and 90% of the time he's going to finish that for you. Very, very good. His uh, dribbling is exquisite as well. Along with that four-star skill moves, it makes getting past defender so easy with him. Because his 86 pace, I think it is, yeah. It feels more like 90. I'm not kidding you. Like, and that 79 dribbling is bullshit. He just feels so fluid when he's moving with the ball. You know, it's easy getting past defenders. It's really, really fun playing with this card. And that is rare on FIFA nowadays. And yeah, one little downside is his attacking positioning. As I predicted, again, it is slightly off sometimes. It takes him a while to get into the box. So if you do want to cross in, then he's not always there. And that's like a bit of a downside, especially if you're using him as a solo striker. You know, he'll stray into midfield sometimes. But you could get away with that sometimes because, you know, his passing makes up for it. Like his through balls and his one-two passes with his teammates seem to be very, very good. So for a striker, that is really, really weird. Since he's only got 61 passing, I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. I used him in a Liga Portuguesa team, but you could get him into a La Liga team or a Prem team if you used someone like Negredo or Fernando Torres up front. So he's going to be fantastic for hybrids because that's Spanish nationality. Honestly, he's really, really good. And like I said with Demba Bar, he's like a target man. He's the striker you want inside the box. I mean, his dribbling though is really, really good. He can easily cut inside that box and, you know, get a shot. His long shots... They're not that powerful and they're, they're pretty easy for the keepers to save, but you know, they're not they're not too bad. They're, they're fairly average, nothing special about that. But yeah, I really did enjoy using this card. And since he's going to drop to about, I'd say 180 roughly, 200k, roughly around that, you know, he's going to be really cheap man of the match. He could drop even further because a lot of people are packing him. It's 3am currently uh, in England. But yeah, honestly, I really did enjoy this card, and I'd have to give him a 9.5 as a striker. That The only downside is his attacking positioning. It is sometimes a hinder, but if you use him alongside someone pacey, you know, 
Uh, it's hard to find someone pacing in Liga Portuguesa, but as I say, if you can hybridize, then you know you're gonna have a lot of fun. And even if it's not pacey, you know it still would work. He's just such a good striker. Try him out, you'll see what I mean. But yeah, if you have enjoyed, then please do hit the like button. It really does help my channel. Subscribe for daily P14 content if you haven't already. Remember to check out MMOJ link will be in the description. Cheap Malago P14 and all the team coins. Let me know if you do want me to review the other Man of the Match card. And yeah, peace.